Today is the day. We are putting up the lifeline, finally. Um, we have to go take a couple measurements and stuff, but yeah, we're gonna go do the measurements and then start putting the lifeline up and yeah. Even if it's raining this weekend, uh, and I know I said I didn't, I didn't want to rush this, but like, I'm just gonna put on rain gear and just fuck. Seeing how he is, yeah. He even jumped. He even jumped out from like right here where the anchor is. So, ain't nowhere safe for him. No. Colby has done like half of the lifeline. Well, half of the top. Well, yeah. It's got to connect up a little But, well, I mean, we're only doing the bow right now because Nims um, definitely didn't take any time to start jumping off of the boat onto the dock again, like in Pleasant Harbor. Um, so, yeah, we had to do this, like, now. But we're only doing the bow for now. And then we'll do the aft later, probably this weekend. I don't know. But... Half of it's done already. Honestly, Hopefully that means he can be on the, the deck alone. Well, at least while I'm like out here and I don't have to worry about him jumping off. Okay, so. Yesterday, yesterday we did about half of the bow top leech line. So today I only have about half to do. Um, so yeah, that is my job. Today is to do this top part where it is only zip tied. And it's supposed to be... Um, like 70 degrees today so it's gonna be kind of nice um i need to eat lunch first but yeah hopefully by the end of today i can let nims out on the boat um I'm, we still have to do the aft but hopefully i can let nims out on the deck today and not worry about him fleeing finished wow the wind has really gotten my hair um so i finished tacking down the bottom of the lifeline around it but i can't get some of it to tack down and so i let nims out to see if he would jump over it or jump through it and of course he found the points where I couldn't get it, like, to go down all the way, um, because we have to, obviously, like, permanently secure it to the stanchions, but, um, I'm not gonna do that until Colby is here, too, because I don't want to fuck anything up, um, so I just, like, zip-tied it, or tried to zip-tie it, and, yeah, didn't work, so he is relinquished inside again today. Colby finished the bow portion of the lifeline and it has been it has been NIMS tested and approved um so he like put in these little hooks down on the bottom so he can't get out and he's already tried to get out of course thankfully he was unsuccessful at his escape attempts out there but he can in fact escape from right here so 
the aft portion is next but the rest of the lifeline i think should be delivered either today or tomorrow <laughs> we're doing the aft portion of the lifeline today so as you can see we've done the bow portion which i don't know if you've seen that video yet or not um and in our rush let's just put this the weather's gonna get hot here real fast and yeah. in our rush to try and get this up so we can let the cats out so they can cool down we haven't been videoing much but here's what we've got we'll show you the ash portion so you can see everything is draped we've got a leech line which is just a one eighth line um wrapped through the we call those the um you know, we're the fishermen i know these terms whatever so wrapped <laughs> through the netting and uh we got draped and now we've got to do the top leech line that attaches it to the lifeline itself and to the stanchion pole. So that's what we're going to be doing now. in that are also in the bow that you saw and then the gates and then you're done right yeah done i gotta secure the lifeline more to the uh, rail on the stern portion so that when i put the life sling in the velcro reaches and everything but that besides that that's it yep. and then, uh, <clears throat> sorry if it's super windy by the way it's super windy besides that there's going to be things that we're going to have to cut holes in the net for and make make holes to get the things like the hooks for oh, line yeah. management and, and so like doing and undoing our, our solar there. panels. There, there are certain things we're going to put holes in. But that can be done whenever. I kind of don't want to just start cutting holes in the net until we know what we want to do. So yeah. for now, they'll keep the cats on board. That can all be done later. Yep. Because Nims, so he wasn't getting out when an, uh, when the gate and everything was closed because it's pretty much secure. But back here, oh, back here, he likes to sit back here. And he got on the very, very, very edge right there and then jumped off onto the dock. So we're going to not do that anymore. So we are going to go enjoy a dinghy ride around the marina and then we're going to come back and let Nims out, finally. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so that we know you're enjoying it. And we'll see you in the next one.